Good morning. Well, it's not far from lunchtime already, you know. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to get some better lighting here. But uh, this video is just me going to be just kind of rambling. Not really rambling about nothing, but just I wanted to share with you how my morning's going. Uh, if you've been watching me, you know I've mentioned that I had an appointment this morning. I had called on Saturday and set up my ride. Thought everything was gravy. Well, lo and behold, at 8 o'clock this morning, there was nobody here. So I got on the phone. I spent an hour between five different phone calls in an hour's time to the access to care ride share. And eventually, they were trying to tell me they were going to get me a lift ride. I'm not supposed to be sent lift riders, drivers, because we live in an area where there really isn't any lift drivers. That the closest lift driver would be coming from like Chattanooga or somewhere, which is an hour away or a little more. Most of my rides come from like Huntsville, which is an hour away, but it's through an actual service. So in the system, it had been put in there that lift driver that lift was not a plausible way to transport me anywhere. Because one time, you know, at the beginning of the year, I got stuck at a doctor's office. I got picked up by a lift driver, dropped off. He would say, have a good day. And I said, wait, you ain't the one taking me home. No, I got to go pick somebody else up. I got, there'll be somebody else. Well, I got stuck at the doctor's office for two and a half hours before I finally got in touch with my friend Roger from church and got, he came and got me. Thank God he was finished with what he was doing and he would be coming straight through by Fort Payne. I had to wait about 30 or 40 minutes on him. But let me tell you, this morning's been an ordeal. Because I called the doctor, I rescheduled for tomorrow. Then I called the ride share and they said, okay, we'll, so they put it in their system, but then I lost signal. That's what kept happening too. They kept putting me on hold and after 15 or 20 minutes of waiting for somebody, I'd lose the call. Then you got to call back, go through the whole automated thing again, then talk to a completely different person, give them all the information again for them to just try to redo it again, put you on hold, and then you lose the call again. So uh, the last time I, the time before last, it was like, they were like, yeah, uh, we've got it down for tomorrow, but there's no ride share company assigned yet. So it was like, they were like, and I was like, cause you're supposed to do it 48 hours in advance, but I was trying to get it done since they screwed it up. I was trying to get it done so they could just pick me up tomorrow to make up for what they didn't do today and get me the doctor. Cause I need to have this doctor look at my arm since I wasn't able to get to the surgery. He wants to look at my arm and then he's going to tell me what they're going to do. I, I believe at this point, cause uh, two weeks ago, I was told that the bone is already starting to mend together, but they were still going to do the surgery. But now that it's been another week since when I was supposed to have the surgery, they're probably going to x-ray it and probably see how far, how much more it's growing back together. And if it's working, it's, if it's developing well on its own, they'll probably just put me back in an actual cast. But I need to get to the doctor to find this out or well, are we just going to do a cast now and put another cast back on? Or are we going <clears> to <throat> still move forward with a surgery? And then moving forward with a surgery, you know, i got to make sure i got a ride. Anyway, it's kind of me ranting, and I'm not I am I am complaining. I'm, I'm frustrated. But I'm saying... Today I'm handling it a little better. I'm 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 not freaking out like I did last Monday because I couldn't get to surgery and then letting that talk my head into going and getting the bottle because let me tell you this morning I it crossed my mind. I'm like, man, do I want to get somebody to take me to the liquor store? And I had to tell myself, no, you don't. You went through that a couple of days and it ain't no good for you, buddy. So, 
I didn't do that. I, I, I quickly put that out of my brain because that is not the answer for me. Because I could go get a bottle and drown out everything, and then tomorrow the, I would feel like crap, be depressed probably, and I don't want to go back. I'm sure there's going to be some more down times in my life, but I can get through it. I've been through plenty of down. Been through a lot of down. I cherish some of those down moments in my life because that's what taught me the most. It's how we react to the th situations we're in. But what I wanted to share with you guys is uh, I'm hanging in there. Man. And uh, I was hoping to already have maybe gotten one of the started on that meaning of life book that I showed y'all yesterday uh, If you with some cool pictures of animals in it. And the words... Well, uh, if you've been paying attention, I was real busy yesterday uh, spending time with my neighbor's grandson and having a blast. Colton is, is a great little kid, and I love being there if I can be. Uh, of course, I've created something now where, you know, every day he's asking me, like this morning already, I, maybe I can come back over your house sometime. Can we go back over to the field? When, when are we going to go back over that field? But that's cool. You know, of course, I'm having to explain to him. We, I might be able to do something with you today, but I can't guarantee you, Colton. If I'm able to figure out and have a little bit of time, we'll, we'll do something. We'll either come in over here in my trailer and play with some more action figures, paint, do something. Or we might wander over that field. I don't know yet. So much has went on this morning that I'm just kind of like going to Make this video here, upload this, and then I'm going to probably just find me something to chill out to for a little while, uh, turn my air on in the uh, in the room, close up my doors in here, let Ladybird in, and uh, uh, retire to the room for a few hours and uh, just relax, you know, until my battery's getting a little bit lower, and uh, whenever I'm done doing that, put, you know, turn the tablet off and charge it so the day started off pretty <laughs> hectic but i gotta say i handled things a lot better this monday than last monday because i don't want a repeat of last week of a couple of days of drinking and not calling and finding out answers yet till thursday and then really not officially till friday and then of course we come to monday and now I've had a whole nor another ordeal. But, you know, I thank God and I thank, I think, I just thank the divine for being there when I need it. And uh, I, I appreciate that I have people like you guys that watch me know that I'm a genuine MFer. I'm, you know, I try not to cuss on here. Of course, sometimes I do. But, uh, you know, I'm a real person. I'm, I have flaws. I have good points. I have really happy days that I'm sharing, but I also have those sad days that I share. I don't try to hold back on what I have to share. I want to be as authentic as humanly possible. A lot of people in my life didn't know how to take me because I just shot from the hip most of the time. Like, if you was wanting to know the truth, don't ask me if you don't really want to know it. I, a lot of people get mad. They ask for your opinion or they... Now, opinions are just opinions, but they still ask for it and you give it and they don't like it. Well, then fucking don't ask. There I go. I cussed. But it's more for myself of cleaning my language up. It ain't nothing to do with that I care. It's just... I, I just like to mind myself. I don't want to be around the wrong people at the wrong time and using such words that shouldn't be used in the certain company. That's just, that's the way I was raised. Like if in my personal life every day I cuss and do that and everything, that's one thing. But I've been trying my best 
to clean it up even when I'm by myself because if I'm if every other word's a cuss word in my personal and everyday life when I'm by myself then it's not hard for it to be done in front of a bunch of people and people that you might respect that don't use those words but anyway I think that sometimes some words are necessary they just come out and they they're emphasizing the extremity of which I'm speaking from you know what I mean uh it's not the word so much you're using. It's the intent behind the word. I was taught that years ago by my sister's uh, uh, boyfriend, who was the father of her two daughters. And, uh, for you know, when I was in seventh or eighth grade, he taught me about cuss words and what makes it more relevant than not relevant. Like, for instance, he was saying at that age, he was just telling me, it's not the cuss word so much, but where your heart is, the intent. Like if I say, God, you know, D, like GD, you, and mean it, there's, there's a lot of backlash that'll come back spiritually. When you're just saying, or, you know, if I say, damn you, and... And, and my intention is that I truly want you damned. That's your problem. Uh, I'm just glad that I had some advice given at an earlier age on how to handle certain words. Like some people are going to be offended by certain words. But if, you know, it, now, of course, I just don't think it's very, I don't think it sounds good coming out if you cuss every so many sentences or every few words um of course sometimes i'm just having a good time and it's just like i don't care and i'm around good people and we're just all like having but uh in my life nowadays i just want to be pres i want to present myself in a better light as much as possible so i've rambled on for uh 12 minutes here and something and i'm gonna leave it at that because i didn't intend to talk this long but i enjoy every minute of this uh I enjoy you guys, and uh, I may make the video today and end the giveaway, but I'm not going to guarantee that either. Uh, if I don't get that done today, I will do it tomorrow. I told you already that'd be Monday or Tuesday, and uh, once I announce I'm done with the giveaway, I'll take the video down, and then we'll, um, you know, sometime either probably this coming weekend, I'll do the draw and uh we'll see who wins so and remember i'm going to be sending uh with the living a life of awareness i'm also going to send you a copy of this little cute book living your best life according to nala cat it's an actual cat from instagram supposedly so anyway i thought that'd be a cool little bonus for whoever since y'all have had to wait a little while till next time Mr. Cloud, Sage of the Eternal Moment, over and out. Ditto.